Hello there everybody, my name is Michael Gray and today I am playing Death Upon an Austrian Sonata. The game starts like this. Well, I guess the title is accurate. We do have Death Upon an Austrian Sonata. This is the third or fourth game in the Dana Nightstone series. I haven't really played the other games in this series, but I understand they're about some woman named Dana who can see ghosts or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. In any case, let's get started. Casual mode? No, too simple. Advanced mode? Mm, nah. Let's go with Hardcore Mode. For years, I thought I was alone. That my ability to see ghosts was some kind of fluke. Something I could never explain. Then, I received a letter that changed everything. A distant cousin of mine, Sebastian Nightstone, had read my latest book. And he, too, can sense ghosts. He said a woman was haunting his dreams, trying to tell him something. I set off to Austria to meet him. I looked forward to a quiet trip, but of course, my life is never that simple. Meanwhile... Okay, so the butler has just been attacked about five seconds before Dana appears, huh? Chapter 1! Sebastian's Manor. It's freezing out here. I should enter the manor soon. Okay, let's go inside the manor. Oh, oh, and there's, there's the ghost. I don't know what her name is. Busty McGee or something? I don't know. Uh, let's knock on the door. The knocker is missing. Can I knock on the window pane? No? Yeah, I guess I can't knock on a window. That That's ridiculous! You can't knock on windows. That's silly. Okay, so the door knocker is over here. But it's being protected by an evil ermine! Yeah, yeah, evil! 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 Sure, it looks kind of cute, but it's evil! It's evil. It's evil. And we have groceries. So, let's sort through the groceries. Six eggs, six eggs. One, two, three, four. Two of them are hidden. One is here, and the other one is hidden here. Five fruits. One, two, three, four, five. That was an easy challenge. Three vegetables. One, two, three. Two cleaning tools? Who goes to the grocery store for cleaning tools? You go to the cleaning tool store for those things! Honestly. Open can of sardines. Alrighty. Open the sardines. And you can give them to the ermine. When we have this, the musical score. Whenever you solve a puzzle, you see the musical score. It, it, it's a nice effect. I, I kind of like it. Okay, you evil thing. Here you go. Here's your food. Now get out of here! Come on, scram! Get on, get on, scram, scram. Okay, brass knocker. Now we can open the door. Wait, 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 wait. Was the door unlocked the whole time? Seriously? What? Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, the intercom. Yeah, we can't use the intercom. It's not working. Yeah, we couldn't have used the doorbell. Oh, well. So, you know the, uh, butler who was just attacked? He's right here. He's in the storage room. Oh, thank goodness. A friendly face. Can you help me get out of here? Ah, uh, sure. I'll try to help you out here, buddy. Uh, can you tell me any information? Oh, thank goodness. A friendly face. Can you help me get out of here? I don't think he's gonna say much. So, let's see. Uh, we have some sort of lock. Uh, we have a lot of puzzles at this point, but I don't think we can solve any of them. Ooh, we have a gear. Nice, and uh, a telephone. 
Uh oh, that sounded like an Austrian Sonata. I sure hope there's no death following close by. Another gear. Looks like we're going to be finding gears and puzzles. There's a puzzle. I think this is a puzzle. Could be. Maybe it's not. Not sure. Cabinet. That was easy. Okay, open the cabinet. We get a gear. We get a lighter. And we can't open the tin. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that later. We can't open the tin. We can't open the side table. Uh, we can't open the glass display. Um, and what's even worse? Somebody broke the beer stein, so now we can't drink beer. So, I mean, what are we gonna do here? I mean, seriously. This door is locked. It's locked. Oh well. Oh well. And we have a newspaper. Famous musician retires. Um, and that's our cousin, Sebastian. So he's a famous musician. Alright. And this looks like Sebastian's journal. He, he drew a picture of the ghost. He drew a picture of himself. And we have another picture of the ghost, along with the gear. Okay. Fantastic. Let's go outside. Bunny rabbit! Bunny! Bunny! No, no! Bunny! Bu bu bunny! Bunny went away. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest. Okay. Uh, we found another gear. Another gear? Man, I'm finding gears all over. We have a poster which hides planks. Okay. Let's see, this is a puzzle, but it's locked right now. Let's see, we can't use the ski lift. And check this out. We have playing cards on the bicycle. Now, it might take you a while to figure this out, but that is the clue for this puzzle. The bicycle lock, see? Okay, so it looks like uh, the seven of clubs is, um, well, seven. <laughs> and the spades is eight. So uh, the clubs is third on the thing. So third is seven. Spades is eight. Diamond was one. One, unless I'm mistaken, and hearts is nine. So that's the combination to the bicycle lock, and now we can save this guy. Thank goodness you saved me. You're Miss Nightstone, yes? I'm Philip, Mr. Sebastian's butler. He told me to expect you, but then this happened. The thief came out of nowhere. He kept asking about a third music sheet. I had no idea what he was talking about. Please, get me out of okay, here. Okay, I'll get you out of here. Not! <laughs> I'm not gonna save this guy. I'm gonna do a hidden objects challenge instead. Seriously, who cares about this guy? He's just a butler. Yeah, so now we go around solving puzzles and finding objects instead of, you know, saving the guy who's tied up. Uh, scarf? Flashlight? Where's a phone? A phone? And we have a crowbar here. Crowbars are always useful. Oh, and we also have a minor puzzle. You see this code here? You want to enter that code uh, here. Alright, we get some keys, which we can use here to find more things. All right, okay, that's everything. And yeah, seriously, we're not gonna save the butler. We're just gonna let him hang around here. See you later, dude. See ya, bye. So, the screwdriver is basically the best item of this chapter. We can use it to solve about five puzzles. Let's start with this. Get rid of the intercom here. And you get a fuse. All right, a fuse. Use a screwdriver here to get more fuses. Okay. And use it here. Fantastic, more fuses and another gear. Looks like we're gonna be um, finishing a fuse puzzle or a gear puzzle very soon. 
open this. We have a hacksaw and we have some logs. Alrighty, so use the hacksaw to free the butler. Thank you, Miss Nightstone. I will try to call the police, but the phone may not be working because of this visit. Yeah, I don't think the phone is working. Sorry about that. Could you check on Mr. Sebastian to see if he is alright? I'm sure he wants to see you. Here's the key to his room. He'd better want to see me. I mean, he's the one who invited me here to this spooky ghost-ridden mansion where butlers are kidnapped and nobody shuts the doors which lead outside. This place must be freezing. I'm sorry. Okay, room key. Room key. All right, time to meet our cousin Sebastian. What I saw in Sebastian's room changed everything. The ghost seemed to care for Sebastian, a living person. Hmm, the ghost has a bit of a crush on Sebastian. Hmm, do we have some sort of interesting love triangle going on? Or is she hanging around him because nobody else can see her? Hmm, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, Sebastian, what's up, buddy? Dana, thank you for coming. I know you must have many questions, so let us waste no time. Just like you, I can sense ghosts. In my dreams, I saw her hiding away something valuable. Music sheets. Of her own composition. And then she was running, running away from someone, fearing for her life. Perhaps she fell or was pushed, but she drowned in the river. I don't know who was chasing her. The ghost, Elise, is a musician like me. She wants me to find her music, but with my current condition, I can't move much. All right, so the ghost's name is Elise. She led me to a secret door in the grand foyer behind the tapestry. I can't get it open. What's behind that door, Dana? Could you help me? Thank goodness you are all right, Master. An intruder broke into the house and locked me up. Miss Nightstone here saved yep, me. Yep, yep, I'm awesome. Wait, what? No comment, Sebastian? No comment at all? Come on! Come on, cousin! She must have left us clues somewhere behind that tapestry. Did you find any? It was only a year ago when Master Sebastian fell ill. The doctor said he doesn't have much time left. I cannot imagine what is next. I have served this family all my life. Hmm. Okay, well, we have some things on the table. The final fuse and a door handle. So let's solve the fuse puzzle right now. Right here, right here, right here, everybody. Door handle goes there. Ooh, another gear. Fantastic. Fuses go here. This is sort of a two-part puzzle, actually. Uh, let's see. Three goes here. Basically, you want to arrange these pieces of paper so they sort of form whatever it is they're supposed to form. Looks like some sort of uh, code. See, these things here on the lower left, it looks like they can be rotated, but I have no idea why. Actually, it doesn't look like you can rotate them at all. That's odd. Huh. Anyway, uh, let's solve the puzzle. Okay, so it looks like five is, uh, Oh, no, let's see. Uh, it looks like ten is gray. Five is green. Eleven is red. Uh, that looks like nine. Nine is red. Four is gray. Uh, something is red. Six is green. Three is green. One is green. Eight is red. And I think I've completely uh, messed up on this puzzle. Well, the two ones we're missing here, um, this is two, and this is twelve. So that means, let me see, uh, this one that we're also missing must be seven. Is that the solution, or am I completely messing things up? I'm completely messing things up. Sorry about this, everybody. Okay, so one is green. Three is green. Got that. Two is red. Oh. Huh. 
Okay, whatever. I solved the puzzle. Kind of a strange puzzle. Uh, let's go inside here and solve easier puzzles. Easier puzzles. I can get behind easier puzzles. This is a hidden object challenge. Not too difficult. Uh, let me see. Where's that handle? Use the handle here. So you can pull this. Um, use this handle here. So you can look inside here to get the owl. And this area is dark, so use the flashlight here. Looks like we have to find a gear. Um, we're finding coins and clips and nails. Coins. Clip. Clip. Um, gear. Clip. Nail. Coin. Ah! There's, there's Elise again. Okay, and there's the nail. Okay, okay, we solved the puzzle. We're awesome. We're awesome. Okay, final gear, right? Final gear. Time for the gear puzzle. Now this is a puzzle I can get behind. I like this puzzle. You need to match the gears to the outlines. I can actually solve this puzzle. That's part of the reason why I like it so much. It is fantastic. Very short puzzle. I like it. I think that's also part of the reason why I like it. So we get the emblem! The emblem, which we can use on the tapestry. So here we have Elise and some dude who needs a haircut. Actually, Elise needs a haircut, too. Hmm. Anyway, uh, this puzzle. This puzzle cannot be solved quickly. Uh, yeah, this is a move pieces around puzzle. So, uh, let's see. Let me try to explain it. I'm not sure I can explain it very well. What you want to do is get all the pieces where they're supposed to go. Like, pretty much every puzzle, actually. Um, hmm. Looks like we have jewels on the right with musical notes on the left. This will make more sense once I have everything moved around. That's, that's what I'm doing at this moment. Alright, so here we go. You'll notice all the musical notes are on the left, and all the jewels are on the right. Now you basically want to uh, move things around so that they uh, match in color. So, for example, light green here, light blue there, uh, orange there, red there. Looks like I need to switch my purples, you know, with my pink. So let's get uh, purple here. Red there, orange there, pink there. Okay, now let's do the same thing for this side. Now let's start with these two on the right. Okay, red. A gray, yellow, blue. Uh, looks like I just need to switch blue and green. Hmm, let me see. How am I going to do that? Okay, let's move blue there, green here. All right, this is our solution. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. All right, to the parlor. Hey, Elise, how's it going? So, Elise, can you not talk? Is that it? Are you a silent ghost? Something behind the wall? Oh, there she goes. Okay, no more Elise. Alright, so we have a puzzle here. A puzzle. You'll notice that um, we have Roman numerals which say 2, 4, 6. So, that's your clue to move from 2 to 4 to 6. That's 2, 4, 6, 8. Who do we appreciate? Then we have 5, 3, 1, so that's 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. Basically a simple puzzle you need to either add or subtract by 2. And looks like we need to find three things here, three things. Okay, here's one, the moon, and here are some tiles. 
And here's a photograph of Elise with the dude who needs a haircut. Looks like he also knows how to play the uh, violin. Tiles obviously go here in the tile puzzle. So for this puzzle, what you want to do is move the tiles where they're supposed to go. It's basically a jigsaw puzzle. Click on two tiles to swap them. And it's kind of difficult because we have these, these things here. So let me see, the middle piece is the circle, so let's let's move the block around the middle piece, because the middle piece is now in place. Hmm, looks like that goes there, that goes there, good. Hmm, this goes here? Okay, the bottom row is finished, fantastic. Let's Let's work on the top row. Okay, now let's get this middle row in place. Alright, there we go. And we get a violin. And some water, you know, now the fountain's working. <laughs> Let me see, we want to light the fireplace. We have some creepy monster. Um, yeah, I don't think I like that. Paper and lighter. Oh, um, looks like we need some more combustible items. Well, let's get them from here. Paper, uh, twig, twig, paper, paper, paper. Uh, and we have some paper in the heart of the doll. Yeah. Not sure what that's supposed to signify either. Um, hmm. Paper here, light it on fire. And it's a mouse. Or a rat, huh. I didn't know their eyes glowed red in the dark. Huh, yeah, hmm. Interesting. Anyway, figurines over here. And we have a secret elevator. Very nice. Let's go upstairs. Uh oh. The elevator started to crash. It was descending fast. I braced myself for the end. But suddenly, the ghost appeared. I don't understand how or why, but she saved me. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Dana here. I don't understand how or why that accounts to saving her. Anyway, the ghost has saved us. So, use the screwdriver here. And let's turn on the emergency power. As you can see from the upper left, you want to go from red to blue to yellow. So that's like red to blue, or here, let me show you. We can have red to blue to yellow to red to blue. Up, oh, no blue. So uh, how about this? Red to blue to yellow, red to blue to yellow, then red to blue. And, um, not to yellow, that's to the exit. Because the puzzle is over! Alright! Secret floor. A secret floor! How do you really keep the second floor of a building a secret, though? No, wait, this would be the third floor. You'd think somebody would notice these windows from the outside of the building and be slightly suspicious. Hmm, looks like somebody... Hmm. Oh, the thief must have come up here. Okay. And we have a crowbar? Okay, crowbars are always useful. Alright, we have an angel wing for the angel wing puzzle. We have an angel wing for the angel wing puzzle. The first violin concert of Elise Fisher! Cancelled? Oh, Probably cancelled because she's dead. Oh, 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 there's the thief. There's the thief who was just outside the window there on the third floor. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, um, uh, let's see. We have Elise's journal. My only dream is for the world to hear my music, but he has taken that away from me. He wanted me only to play music for him. I have to protect what is left with me now. My violin 
and my music. Okay, so we have the music in the music boxes. Oh, solvent. Nice. Uh, what's in this music box? Oh, a trap. Um, yeah, that's not music, huh? That that's that's not good. A uh, broom. Uh, and a puzzle. Top to bottom. So basically, click on things which are on top of other things. Uh, let's see. Rope. Then the mallet. Then the card. Then the dagger. Then bicycle handlebars. Yeah, huh. An interesting puzzle. Then we have the angel wings. What we want to do is make the angel wings resemble the uh, picture from the previous room. So let's see, the first two things control uh, two things, if that makes sense. The first two buttons move two angels at once. Whereas the second two buttons control only one angel at once. So you want to work with the first two buttons first, and then the... Uh, last two buttons second. Look into the reflection of the angel's hand. The reflection of the angel's hand. Okay. So we need some sort of reflection here. Looks like we're gonna have to get water or something. Yeah, let's get water and put water inside the angel's little bowl. That way we have a reflection. Let's see, let's go upstairs, go over here. Use the crowbar here. Not sure why we couldn't have used the crowbar from the butler's area. I mean, there was a crowbar there. So we get salt and glue. Glue, well this is fantastic because we can use the glue to fix the beer stein. All right, beer stein. This is a three dimensional puzzle. Might be kind of tricky. Um, the top and the bottom are relatively simple to figure out because those are all silver. Let me see, where's my other silver piece? Right here? <laughs> this is another silver piece. This is the only other silver piece. And you might want to say, um, try to get the pieces on the bottom, where we have a the little circular tile. I hope that makes sense. I'm not explaining myself very well. Like here, we, we have this uh, white line running around the bottom of the board, and we have a white line running along the um, pieces. So you put the pieces there. Wow, yeah, I'm just horrible explaining. Uh, it's a jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw puzzle, just put all the pieces where they're supposed to go. It, it's not too complicated. Just, just ignore me. This there. Final piece here, okay. So, now we have a, a beer stein, so we can give some beer to the angel. Which is something I don't recommend doing in real life. If you see an angel, don't give the angel beer. Give the angel some water. Water is nicer. You know, it might be thirsty. Alright, here we go. Right, so, oh, there's, there's the ghost again. Okay, and we have the reflection, something in the chandelier. Okay, knock it down with the broom. This is another puzzle. This is a matching puzzle. You want to find things which match each other. Not sure if I can find. Hey, bow and arrow. Yes, that's good. Okay, a uh, tennis ball and tennis racket, those match. I made a match somewhere, um, I think that was piggy bank and coins. Let's 
see, lock and key. Bowl and spoon, stamp and envelope. Alrighty. So, make all those matches and you can uh, open this thing. To get the music sheet! Alright! The third music sheet. The one that the thief wanted to steal. Okay, so, let's take this to Sebastian. Yeah, I haven't seen our cousin in a while. Let's see what's going on with him. Oh, oh, oh! Creepy thief. The creepy thief is outside, and of course, nobody's going to do anything about it. We're just going to let him wander around outside. We're not going to shut the door or call the police. Hey, Sebastian. She must have left us clues somewhere behind that tapestry. Did you find oh, you're any? still stuck on that tapestry? Sebastian, dude, that was like ten minutes ago. Oh, my. That is the third music sheet the thief wanted? But this piece of paper... It's worthless. Wait, I see some faint lines on this music sheet. Dana, can you view this under that desk light? Uh, I guess I can. This goes here, turn on the light, and you can kind of see faint lines. So you want to make the lines appear with the solvent. And this is an easy puzzle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, click on the piece of paper six times. It's a map. Elise is trying to lead us somewhere. I know it. We must find the other pieces and figure out this Hey, what's puzzle. this we business, Sebastian? So far, I'm doing all the work. It's not worthless after all. The thief must be collecting these music sheets. Wait, did you hear that? What's that noise outside? What noise? I don't hear any noise. Oh, now I hear the noise. Outside Sebastian's room, I spotted a hooded man running away. It was the thief. We just saw the thief, though. Uh, what is the thief doing? Was there something in the thief's hands? It looked like the thief was carrying a purse. It was too late. He escaped. Following him down the slope was impossible. I had to find another way. Wow, he had a snowmobile ready and everything? Wow, that's... Hmm, huh, yeah, jeez. Anyway, uh, yeah, we want to, uh, get inside here and get the, uh, ski lift working again. Let me see. We have some hidden thingies. Mechanisms? Is that what you call them? Machine part. It's a machine part. Okay. Let's go upstairs here. Now we have a hook. And a gondola... You want to use salt so you can get inside the gondola. And inside here we have some gloves. That's that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so back down here. Back down here. Come on, lift the latches. Open the door, use the hook to get the key. Use the key on the door. And I think this is a puzzle. Okay, use the salt here. Remove the cover. And here's a puzzle. Okay, so what you want to do is um, fix this machine. Get everything where it's supposed to go. And then we have these lights here. Whenever you fix something, a light turns on. Like when you put the machine parts there, or when you flip these switches. Let me see, open this. Looks like this is a part here. That's a part there. Uh, pull this. That's another part. That's another part. Let's rotate this. That's another part. Final part is this one right over here. Alright, so the power generator is working. And the drawer, what are we doing here? Two adhesives? Well, there's glue. Use this to uh, work the zipper to get some tape. 
Measuring tools, I can do that. Plumbing tools, can do that too. Huh. Yeah, hey, we got a wrench, all right, all right. And we also can get an ID card. This should come in handy. Up the stairs, up the stairs, okay. Use the wrench over here because we want to get to the faulty wiring. I mean, as this thing shows, uh, we don't want the wiring to look like that. Wait, what? We don't? Huh. No, no, no. I'm using the gloves on the wires. Come on, come on. Move things around so no wires are overlapping. Really simple. Uh, at least not too difficult, I should say. Multiple solutions to that puzzle, which is nice. Put the ID card in, and hey, we can now use the gondola. So this should bring an end to this chapter, chapter number one. Let's open the window. Move the latches, pull this up, and then I'll pull the hook to start the gondola so we can chase after the thief. I didn't know how I'd catch the thief, or what I would do if I had to face him alone, but I had to try. I wanted to solve the mystery. What was so special about Elise's music that the thief wanted it so badly? But this time, maybe I'd gotten it over my head. Nothing prepared me for what was coming next. Was this my last adventure? Would it all end here?